Looking forward to Android Nougat, well here are 5 reasons you should be amped for Android 7.0. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the implementation of the just-in-time compiler. I know it's an under the hood feature, but it's a nice addition that not too many people know about. Booting up on OTA updates, but not every boot up is much faster with the compilation of just-in-time implemented on top of Art's ahead of time compiler. In other words, your awesome NuGet phone will pre-compile some apps, but not compile every part of an app unless it's necessary. This essentially requires less storage space and speeds up application install time from the Google Play Store and system updates. Speaking of apps, how about the fact that you can now multitask with two applications on the same screen using multi-window view? I definitely like the idea and the way Google is approaching this. A lot of the popular applications are supported at the moment, but once more developers hop on this feature, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. I especially like that the windows make space for the keyboard by automatically resizing it and reverting back to normal when it goes away. The fact that you can drag and drop text and images between either window, double tapping the recent button allowing you to switch between your recently used apps, and the black divider to focus your attention on one of the windows while still keeping the other one in a smaller size. With the notifications, they are now flatter and stretch all the way to the edge of the screen, plus they provide more info in an organized manner by bundling all the notifications together. A great example is if you receive multiple emails on one account, you can then expand the notification to see all the received emails from that account and expand again on a specific email to see the body, as well as quick replying to messages and deleting, sharing, or archiving messages and emails right from the notification area. It'll take some time to get used to when switching from Marshmallow, but I absolutely love this feature. If you take a look at the system settings, it's also redesigned swiping from the left will bring out a navigation drawer to jump to any other settings section no matter what menu you're in. There's a new suggestions area at the top of settings home where it automatically gives you advice on things you can do with your phone. It might be great news for a newbie, but I usually tend to ignore this and minimize it or remove it altogether. Now there are other minor adjustments and designs such as a more advanced data saver, the battery, the essential information at the bottom of each settings section on the main page, the easter egg, and much more. If I had to show you every system setting modification, this video would be extremely long so I'll just give you the big picture and hope you get the point. The last feature I wanted to show off is the quick settings. So when you drop down the notification you immediately get toggles at the top to quickly turn on and off certain settings such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other settings you put there. As well as a customizable quick settings panel with multiple pages letting you rearrange and remove tiles by tapping on edit. And the coolest thing is that the developers are now able to create custom quick setting tiles for their apps, so expect to see some creative yet crazy tiles in the coming months. That wraps up the top 5 features I'm looking forward to for Android Nougat. I know there are plenty more features I've left out, so please let me know in the comments why you're looking forward to Android Nougat. Please make sure to check out andropolice.com for your latest and greatest news on Android, and I'll see you guys in the next one.